morning, good evening, good afternoon, kings and queens. You back with Trucker CEO, man. And this is Channel Life with Trucker CEO. Man, this is another podcast for you. Um, so we going to break off on the norm on this one right here. It's currently like 3.20, 3.30 in the morning, man. I've been grinding. I got like five or six private videos for y'all. I got one currently loading up. I got four or five tomorrow. I got to edit. So I definitely got content coming for y'all. But tonight, man, before I go to sleep, it's just something that's been sitting on my heart right now, man. It's, and I think I'm going to call this going to be a podcast if you didn't know. But I think I'm going to call this uh, motivation, man. Because I was currently, I was going through my old videos and I was reading y'all messages, man, like three, four years ago. And, you know, I love that positivity that my channel had before I just fell off the map. Because I fell off the map. I ain't put a video out in like three years. So I definitely fell off the map. But when I was going through them, uh, when I'm going through the messages, man, I was really connecting with real people. So I want to get back to that. So I'm going to start back getting to these positive messages, trying to motivate y'all and just trying to talk to y'all. So this podcast right here most likely going to be called Motivation. So... You know what I'm saying? If you've been watching me for three, four years, you've been going back and forth to the videos, as a couple of people said, you know, I'm watching the videos, I'm trying to get the courage up to go to school. I just want to know, what's holding you back? Why you ain't want to got your CDLs yet? You know what I'm saying? It ain't got to be CDLs. Why you ain't open up that boutique? Why you ain't open up that hair salon? Why you open up that car wash? You know what I'm saying? That, that, that grocery store that uh, barber shop, you know what I'm saying? That used car dealership. Like, what are you waiting on? You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm calling this podcast Motivation. I need y'all to believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Hey, every day you procrastinate, there's another day you losing leverage in this world to be great. You know what I'm saying? I want What I want you to do, this is Sunday. So, I want you to do something today. Or whenever I drop this, I don't care if it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Whatever day I drop this podcast, I want you to do something positive. Do something towards building your way to your goal instead of taking you further away from it. You feel what I'm saying? I know what you're thinking. Like, trucker CEO, I just got to make one or two more checks. I just got to I just gotta put this and that in the place before I can do. You, It's always going to be something. Believe me, it's always going to be something. Look at me with this YouTube. I started like four years ago. And then for two or three years, I didn't put no videos out. You didn't think it was hard for me to just get up one day and say, oh, man, I, I, I need it's, it's about time for me to bring my channel out the dead, out the dead zone. But I did it because you know what? You, you either going to make progress or you going to make excuses. Let me say that again. You going to make progress or you going to make excuses. You know what I'm saying? It's something that I tell my artists all the time. And if you didn't know, I run a, a record label also. You can look us up on YouTube, man. It's Cash King E-N-T. Cash Kings with a Z, E-N-T, man. Go ahead and uh, check some of them videos out, man. Let me know what y'all think. But let's get back to the topic, though. You know what I'm saying? I tell my artists this all the time. Every man or every woman is in charge of their own destiny. Again, every man, every woman is in charge of their own destiny. What that mean? Well, what that mean, trucker CEO? You know what that mean? Take your destiny in your own damn hands. It's always going to be something. Your baby daddy is all your, your baby daddy always not going to pay his child support if he ain't paying it. So what? Get an extra job, get the extra income, come on to CDL school, go on to open that barbershop, go on to open a used car dealership. You know what I'm saying? Your baby mama always gonna be tripping. She always want extra bread. You know what? Go get an extra job, work. Stack that bread up. Go on and get them CDLs. Go on and put yourself through college, bro. It's always gonna be something. But this is what I don't want y'all to do. I don't want y'all working at CVS. Family Dollar. The Dollar General, the everything's the dollar stores. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. A dollar is a dollar. I don't care how you get your money. But if you like me and you thinking about taking your life, your career, your relationship to the whole nother level, don't use that job as a crutch. Oh man, I just gotta get a no, it's always gonna be something. Do what you need to do, get the absolute essentials 
and make your move. I know it's scary. I, I can tell you it's scary. It was scary for me to bring this, this YouTube out the dead. It was scary for me to go buy this truck cash and now here with an older cash truck. It was scary for me to go through Swift Transportation and get my CDLs when I don't know nobody that ever drove a truck before. You know what I'm saying? Quit using these obstacles that you got in your life as crutches. You got to break away from that. Because one thing about it, you need to go ahead and set your life up so you can set your kids up. See, that's what I'm doing it for. Right now, I'm, you can't. You can work at the hospital or General Dollar Store or Burger King or Walmart for 30 years. You can't pass your job off to your kids when you die or when you retire. You can't pass your job off. But guess what? This trucking shit, when I get two, three, four, five, ten, five hundred, a million trucks, I can pass that to my daughter. If I get 10, 15, 20 properties, multi-units, single family homes, I can pass that to my daughter. You feel what I'm saying? Goddamn stocks, real estate, bonds, I can pass that to my daughter. You can't pass no job to your kids. You know what I'm saying? That's... Quit building somebody else's dream and start to work on yours. If you go to work six hours, eight hours a day for somebody else, you need to come home and put that same amount of energy, that same amount of focus, that same amount of whatever you got in your heart to keep you pumping every day. You need to put that into your business. Quit coming home, watching Netflix, watching TikTok, watching Instagram, all on Facebook and with the nonsense and put your energy into your business. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, Sharda, Sharda can't eat no bills, man. Your kids can't eat no bills, but that money you making from that business can put them through college, can put them in another business because college is not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? If your kids don't have a clear direction on where they want to go, why send them to college and let them waste all that money when you can hand them a bank account and say, start whatever your passion is. You know what I'm saying? They pass might be shoes, clothes, fashion, YouTube, whatever. Whatever they passion is, you need to be feeding the fire to light that passion to another, to another galaxy, another realm, another whatever. You know what I'm saying? Don't be that parent that's down in your kids and making your kids, kicking your kids out of 18, and now it's just a whole uh, cycle of kids having kids and they broke it in a motherfucker. Man, let's stop this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So first step is for you to have a business. If you got a business, if you making money, you got better time to spend with your kids. Your kids see you with a business, guess what they're gonna wanna do? Ding, ding, ding. Don't take a rocket scientist. Your kids see you with a business, they gonna wanna start a business. Your kids see you on sex and Nate having kids, having a fucked up relationship, guess what they gonna do? It's a pattern. Kids do what they see their parents do. You know what I'm saying? So let's take that time. Whatever you doing, all these stimulus checks that were sent out, you ain't think about starting a business? Or did you go buy them Jordans? Was you in the mix? Was you was you up there in Tennessee in them cabins? Yeah, yeah, you you was, wasn't you? You you, you went to the beach, right? Or y'all went to the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and all them other places that were cheap as hell with one stimmy you came back and then couldn't pay your rent. Was that you? Was that you with them fake PPP loans and you ain't even start a business? <sighs> yeah. Your grandma is looking at you in this thing. Jesus, you got the PPP money and didn't start your business. <sighs> oh, man, I don't know what to tell some of y'all, man, but listen. What we had like we like nine minutes into this. I really just wanted to come in here and tell y'all, let's start being proactive. The same amount of time you stand, same amount of time you at work, put that into your business. Let's stack this money. Let's get an extra, let's get an extra job if we got to. Let's start that business. Whatever it's gonna be. Your baby daddy, if he ain't paying child support, he's not gonna pay it. Let's 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 get done with that and let's go ahead and make this move. Your baby mama, she always gonna trip about you not coming over to her. 
bringing money for the kids, this and that and that. Or, you know what up? Take care of your kids, man. That was the wrong thing to say. Your baby mama always going to be tripping, getting in your way, jealous, or whatever it is. That's vice versa, male or female. All the stuff that I'm saying is interchangeable. I'm just throwing it out now off the top of my head, man. You always, the, 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 the meat and potatoes of this, you always going to have a problem. It's something always going to be in the way. It's never going to be a perfect time. If you waiting on this, this, and that to line up, it's never going to line up the right way. I promise you. You got to make lemonade out of lemons. You feel me? You got to make lemonade out of lemons. So it's whatever your circumstances is, take what you need to and force your way to the top of the barrel, baby. You know what I'm saying? So... In the comment section, let me know what your problems is. You know what's stopping you from pursuing your, um, pursuing your passion, your business, you know, whatever you trying to pursue. Put it in the comments, man. You know I read all my comments. I respond to all my comments, man. Just do what you need to do. Take care of your family. Take care of your grandparents, your parents, your kids, man. Take care of your loved ones, man. Let's get out here and get this guacamole sauce. And I'll be back with more motivational videos in the future, man. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Like. Comment on your way out. Hit the thumbs down if you ain't like it. Hell, I don't care. Hey, it's your world, pimp. Do whatever you need to do, man. And I'm out.